my first trainer's name was uh, Amit Paul. This guy told me learn two words every day. Just, uh, just carry a small diary with you, not notebook, and just write two words every day. Words that you think are imp- important or unknown to you. Don't write sixty words a day. Two words a day, and within thirty days you see sixty words you know or you probably apply 10 words from them so yeah vocabularies you can apply this technique just five words a day and i'll be playing quiz with those five words and if you do it consistently like i do it on on the group like uh, with my student i i share word of the day every day yeah. and i do it consistently uh, be, over the years i have got this consistency yeah so what do you think about this vocabulary thing or if you have any other points to discuss um, so that we can improve our spoken english well uh, guys this particular portion is being discussed so many times from our side like we love to play with vocabularies mm. like every single day believe me when i get into the class and i do feel a vibe mm. because it is not about that okay whatever you know just speak it out like a parrot but no we love to do the experiment mm. so here i have come in contact with so many things such as there are some things like you also people know that very well that reading mm. reading can help this like in a huge amount i cannot even explain it readings. yeah literally so you know when i started reading my my reading journey started with this thing when i didn't have any vocabulary so i got suggestion from my trainer that you know just try reading because a writer like you know a writer has the treasure of mm. words and vocabularies and all those things that you can get from a book yes. so my first book is the blue umbrella and believe me or not the kind of words i got from there i didn't know the pigtail i got in the first para you know like the the first line i got i came in contact with that uh, n- with that particular word that pigtail what is pigtail then i researched on it so in such a way reading can help us in huge amount like mm. to that extent mm. it really it really can be the support for us and not only reading as we can talk about listening yep. before some time you were talking about that you are listening to somebody it is also not that okay listening in the sense watching podcast listening to music you also can observe somebody who is speaking in english like the particular environment i have got into right now mm. every time whenever i listen to somebody speak in english maybe he or she is not in my batch but i just go to that place i go to that place because i know i know that when english is being discussed i will be getting something because you know what happened let's say you love to eat food a lot and you are a chicken lover and wherever you will see a chicken or the biryani kind of thing you do the research you love to do the research i've seen so many friends of mine kind of biryani they talk about i've never heard of like shahi biryani bambu biryani and all those things because you love to do that mm. you are a food lover so you that's love to eat. yes that that's your main w- purpose mm. probably mm. so for me when i whenever i get something related to english i get jump upon it yeah. i feel like doing it more and more and more so just give yourself the punch that yes there is the opportunity there is an opportunity so listening to somebody and we can do it when we can get ourselves into a conversation mm, absolutely like have small talks we talk about small talks mm. it is really a lack in our life right mm. now we we always think that okay uh, talking in the sense we have to get a topic then mm. we we will be able to talk about we will be able to speak yeah hours. yeah explain hours and hours no i have observed it's really hard to talk about easy things than the hard things uh, because hard things is all about just getting a topic and you're talking about it you what you you have to get better at basics if you want to talk about the yes, small stuff yes yes that's the reason why every day when i sit down to practice i always remind myself of never forget your basic never forget the root where you have grown up because let's say like as a tree if i don't if i don't nourish the root if i don't water the root then i'll never be able to get flourished with all those leaves and the fruit it will never be get flourished 
so root is really important to nourish it and to do that so we have to do silly things mm-hmm. as da, as rajada says it so well it be crazy you know just go mad so then you will be able to do something out of the blue like just make others realize that yes you've gone crazy nothing can be done you need a silence number my family members always say that okay now you have to get admitted because whenever you're doing yeah. one of my aunts was saying last time that and you know like uh, when you got back home it was like approximately 1 am mm. and then you were speaking all of a sudden your uncle said like really i think something is happening a problem has occurred like you just have to talk to her mother and father because whenever i listen to her she speaks in english because it is my job mm. like i cannot forget my job how can i right so when something is my job i cannot get out of my responsibility i don't forget to have my meal i don't forget to take my nap when the time comes i remind myself of that okay it is my time to take lunch so how can i how dare i am to forget my responsibility which is giving me the a kind of support which is showing me the future me so here yes have talked probably out of the topic but yes in order to learn this thing you have to just find out your way find out your way just do whatever you can do in order to pursue this in order to learn this so it can be your option that reading books like reading books really help me a lot like listening to people as sovik the listen he listens a lot he he always believes that listening can be the only one thing which can help me to be a better version of myself yeah so if you just uh, started this uh, point with mm. reading books i would like to mention that uh, that uh, uh, you know it's very important that we read newspaper every day i yeah. i i i emph- i put emphasis on reading because i think uh, like newspaper i'm i'm putting emphasis on news reading newspaper is because you get a lot of uh, daily news stories which you, which is interesting and uh, that helps you with a lot of vocabulary yeah, like everyday literature yeah, as you every, say yeah, yeah so in in my class i came in contact with this particular town from the other that everyday literature you don't need to open up a book you're just going through hundred and thousand of words vocabularies new terms and lot more grammar grammar so what you need just and, get into and, and parvati uh, uh, you know it costs only 5 rupees yes. on a normal day like yes. maybe on sunday it, it costs 6 rupees mm-hmm. but but it like if you buy let's say if you buy the hindu or um, you know th- there is another one that uh, indian, express. indian express so if you buy this kind of or hindu hindustan times so if you buy this kind of newspaper then they cost a little higher yeah. they're costlier uh, but if you want to start then times of india or uh, you know like telegraph uh, these two uh, newspapers predominantly are available in yeah. our locality so i think like uh, times of india really helps me like i always recommend times of india because you get a lot of snippets you get very small stories if you do not have time spend at least 2 minutes you can uh, you can read a snippet and and then you get uh, maybe you get a gramma- grammar idea or you get a word idea you get uh, you get a lot of knowledge actually yeah. yeah i've come in contact with this thing is that like it may sound really harsh but yes we are overconfident hmm. overconfident because we think that okay today i'm sitting down to read this and a week later again i'll be sitting down to read and still i'll be able to recognize those words still i'll be able to speak english yeah and uh, you you were right you were so right i think uh, i just want to twist it a little bit you know it's like let's say i'm reading an article from a newspaper and in the third paragraph i get stuck I like our problem is that we give up on this immediately. Yes, yes. We do not think that okay, look at the last few lines that I was able to understand everything. Mm. Only in the third paragraph I got stuck for a moment and but I'm just con- you know taking out the conclusion that reading newspaper is tough or reading newspaper is not for me. Mm. I th- I think that's the point here. Yeah. yeah, then then we uh, decide to do it next day. 
then days pass by so do the weeks and yeah and, and you know we we like my point is that we come to a conclusion so fast yes. like when i ask my student to read, read like i asked you to read you you just read you did not ask the i'm getting stuck i'm not able to read i feel sleepy you know i think about my past whenever i read. you never said anything you just read you completed the books and then you report it to me so not every student uh, uh, not every student does that and that's a problem yeah like here we can use that brain traces probably this yeah, brain yeah, traces yeah, yeah. no excuse no excuse yes no excuse use this term and follow eat that frog's rules mm. like you know i i literally whenever i talk about this particular book this thing this term hits me a lot that 6p formula proper prior planning prevents poor performance yes. so it it doesn't happen overnight or it doesn't happen all of a sudden as you're talking about we make decision really fast plan that mm. the okay i have sat down with this particular article today i'll be getting into the depth of it mm. i'll be just digging out the best out of it mm. let's see what happens probably i'll not be able to finish the whole newspaper mm. you don't need to do that mm. just choose single article single thing whatever you are interested in then dig it out just mm. whatever you have found out one word go to dictionary and find just try to find similar words synonyms of that word antonyms of that word the adjective verbs and how many forms of that particular word is available there Absolutely. that is how the experience probably happens mm. you know uh, like it's it's so interesting that you you just uh, Uh, you know raise this point that reading uh it's we like we have done dedicated videos on that so when it comes to reading we are voracious readers guys we read a lot whenever we get time she's not getting time these days but yeah as i was saying like you know we, let's say you are read, as i said like my if i just start from the last thing that i said it's like getting stuck in the third paragraph or any paragraph for that matter i think it's a challenge right you are getting stuck meaning you don't know this yeah like it's an opportunity to learn like obstacle is an opportunity to learn we are mistaking obstacles for a uh, threat mm -hmm. we we we're, we're thinking like you know it's a threat like it's it is going to put me in trouble it's not going to put you in trouble it is actually opening up new um, or uh, doors for opportunity to learn new things mm. you know like uh in a in a fun way i can say a movie is really mundane without villains absolutely so, like we like uh, you see the grammar you see the exceptions yes. like you say okay if you want to make a singular noun plural uh, then how how do you do that you add you add s e s i s to the yes. noun and then you make it plural but can you apply it every to every noun no yes. there are ex exceptions like a man becomes men then you do not add s e s i s yes. so th these exceptions actually make the learning interesting yes. and amazing right mm -hmm. um, yeah it is little little bit difficult for a learner to just adapt and process on on a very first day when he or she is exposed to it but over time definitely will be able to understand understand what are what are the te uh, technicalities or what are the differences mm -hmm. so yeah these things look i think if english learning english was or speaking english was so easy everybody would have spoken yes. english like you go anywhere like look i'm not saying that spoken english is everything i'm not saying that i'm saying it is a skill as simple as that yes. i love reading bengali books i li i read more bengali books than english you know that very well so yeah bengali magazines are published uh, prior to durga puja and i like buy 6 7 and i read all short stories and everything but my english books are there they're just standing looking at me bored and do you understand what i mean so yeah okay so but i i want to ask you here one thing that uh, like most people like everybody wants to speak better english but when it comes to taking part in any conversation let's say there is a conversation going on and some people are doing it and they are good in english and i'm i've just started learning and i feel like should i should i take pardon it like yeah. i think it would be so embarrassing if i make any mistakes so yeah. do you understand so taking engaging in conversation is difficult for most learners yes. they think okay one day i will take part in a conversation that one day never comes, okay. never comes. you if you want if you want to get to that 
level then you have to take this step this yeah. tiny steps yeah maybe you will be humiliated hmm. because you are you think you will be humiliated i i have never seen parvati in my entire life that you are speaking wrong english and for that reason people are laughing at you hmm. it only happens on uh, youtube comment yes or facebook comment <laughs> like in real life have you ever uh, experienced this that people are laughing at you because you are speaking wrong english never happens hmm. you know if you ask me that why we are not able to take part in any conversation as simple as that those who are having the conversation they are from oxford university we do think so when it is about when it is Mental. about take, yes when it is about taking part in any conversation we do feel that okay like, like us we are from cambridge <laughs> university we are speaking like you know I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so no, you know, yeah, yeah. So, uh, like, we are doing fun. Yeah. We didn't have the plan to do the video. We just yes. we came here. We have the points ready, and now we wanted to talk. Now, this video, like this entire, this uh, you know, chat or conversation, uh, getting recorded. So, it will be uploaded soon. Yeah. Then we look at it. Then people get some, you know, help. So we are actually doing the fun. right so we are doing the it's on purpose we are doing this conversation yeah. and most interestingly you know as dada have just said that we made some points and we were thinking about talking about those points now we have forgotten all those points yeah. because we've got into because of our fun because we're enjoying this conversation a lot we don't even know what actually we started with like we never follow script yes yes that's <laughs> that it's it's really a fun game yeah. you are talking about whatever you know the gibberish or whatever yeah, is yeah. coming up yeah. to you and and like you you make mistake i'm sorry like i'm interrupting yeah, again and again sorry. but uh, yeah uh, what i'm saying that you know like you are not following any script that's why it, it it's fun it's mm-hmm. interesting mm-hmm. if you follow a script then you know it gets very predictable i've observed it so many times and and i know like they're smart enough to catch yeah, us yeah. so easily yeah or maybe it's a trend that everybody is doing it and you you should be doing like make a script and then just uh, you know read it mm. just read it no we we are not doing it guys we we make a lot of mistakes when we speak english but we never we are never ashamed of ourselves uh because it's not our language like uh, my first language is bengali right we have got rabindranath tagore shar chandra chatterjee bankim chandra chatterjee we have, we have got this people in in our land like i'm not ashamed of speaking um, like like wrong english because english is not my language when i speak yeah. wrong bengali then maybe that's a matter of shame right mm-hmm. so yeah what do you think like we are taking so much we are taking english very seriously and that's why i think we are, whenever an opportunity comes to just speak or take part in a conversation we are not able to do that mm. what points are coming in your mind right now uh, when it comes to speak like when it comes to speak better english well uh, let's talk about technology because the modern generation is too much addicted to this particular thing mm. so yes i'm addicted every one of us like we are really attracted to this thing mm. more than anything else mm. whatever we do we always get indulged into our mobile that yeah. okay yeah. i want to learn something let's start it with mobile mm. i want to i want to discard my mobile let's find out the solution yeah. i have seen like yes i have applied this particular thing when it is about not using mobile a lot then i searched it how to not to use mobile then i'm searching it on mobile so jokes apart but yes when it is about learning english huge chunk of opportunities there when technology is always at your service like you know what happens nowadays we've got so many apps such as one of our favorite apps is duolingo mm. this particular app is really helpful because it is giving you challenge every single time whatever you're like you're getting a lesson then you you're thrown at a challenge so in such a way if we can use the technology in a good way mm. that okay i'm using mobile there is no problem but why not it been used mm. in such a way so that it can profit me something mm. so that it can give me a, a kind of feeling that okay at least at the end of the day i'm not misusing my mobile mm. so it is not only about mobile whatever device we are pursuing we can do that 
so right now i would love to emphasize the technology like mm. what do you think like you know don't you think it's it's being misused misused in the sense sometime it happens we open up youtube with an intention that okay i'm going to learn this but then later what what happens we get indulged into something else so why not i think the problem is we're not able to fix up our mind so yeah. he, so here i would love to ask for your opinion what you think that like is it really being misused uh i don't want to talk about wh- why people are not able to take the most out of uh, technology mm-hmm. but i would love to give some recommendations it's like as you said like duolingo is one of the apps that actually you keep up your daily streak mm-hmm. you learn every day if you don't learn then your streak is broken yes. so you have kind of a you know tension or worry that you know make sure that i spend at least 15 minutes today to uh, keep up my streak right uh, so yeah i think that helps us a lot apps like uh, mobile phone dictionaries right uh online dictionaries like chat gpt or uh, google or you know so many other things that we should uh use for our benefit right otherwise we are just self harming ourselves somewhere we are uh, like if you check any random students youtube history you see a lot of junk be- being being seen by that person every day rather than any constructive uh, you know any construct i'm i'm talking about most of the people right like most of these students do not watch any constructive videos and if you want to learn anything anything at a deeper level you just have to spend hours on any lecture i mean tedx is a wonderful a uh, platform like tet talks you know like th- this particular platform is amazing like you you just listen to a 9 10 15 minutes of uh, somebody somebody's speech and that summarized version of a particular topic gives you a lot of clarity and you you do the research uh, either on chat gpt or any anywhere like google and you get the entire idea about that particular topic so one of the Uh, I would like to mention a particular video that I often um, watch, and that is "Believe in Yourself," mm-hmm. where somebody I really don't know his name. He actually uh, he 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 is talking about in this particular video, guys. I'll I'll uh, mention the video in the description. Please check it out. It's a nice video in order to utilize your time. And he's saying that if you spend one hour every day for the next five years. in uh one extra hours he's saying one extra hours if you spend on any particular subject that you are interested in for the next 5 hours like you will be national champion like you know like you will be competing nationally so it's a it's a very big statement and it's it's so true because i just want to get back to my previous point it's like consistency like one hour is not the issue issue is that am i able to do it every day like you know that's the problem yes. So this video reminds me of the kind of time I have I'm so I get, I get so happy Parvati I feel like wow look at this guy he has years of experience in his like he's sharing on a platform which is free for me and uh, this is one of my favorite um, you know TED, TED talks video I really appreciate it yeah absolutely technology like like this like technology really helps you um, you know with a lot of things that you often miss but there is another thing that how can you like there is another quote i can i think you can remember jay shetty would say that do you choose education over entertainment or entertainment yeah. over education yeah. so that's amazing like most people choose uh, a- entertainment over education and that's why you see that we know latest movie song but we don't know the words that we have learned recently right we don't remember you a lot of people can argue that uh, you know there is a rhythm in the song so it's very easy to remember and everybody is singing everywhere it is playing so yeah but uh, that's not my point my point is that if you are a singer music is for you but if you are not a singer then just use it for refreshment yes right and refreshment doesn't mean for an hour then it becomes a hobby just make something out of music an hour meaning you're just yeah it's a hobby right like i don't read books for an hour every day but i call it hobby 
But if you are spending an hour on something, meaning it is a very heavier hobby, yeah. right? So yeah, that's what I think about technology. I, I probably talked a lot about this. Now I have a point, and that is, what about words? What about like I'm like this is so important. Why are spoken English learners so tired of speaking English? Because they are not able to make it new. Yes. How can you make it new? Last time you said um, in the class, you know, when we were doing the class, you said, you know, Dada, I was not able to remember the word, what word? Uh, flabbergasting. flabbergasting. Like flabbergasted. Like I, I, I could not remember the word flabbergasted. The moment you remembered it, the, or the moment the word came up in your mind, you actually felt so happy. But you are not happy because you knew you know English. You got happy because you suddenly uh, were able to like recall the word, yes, yes. right? So that's what I'm saying. It's it's about doing something new with the old thing that you are doing. So it could be it could be having a con. It it could be just listening to a person who is speaking English and who is learning English. And when you do that uninterrupted listening session with that person, like you are the listener and the other person is speaking, like yeah. right now I'm doing it. Um, you are listening to me and I'm speaking. So you, you get a lot of words from me. Yeah. Words that you know, words that you don't know, mostly you know words that you know, but they're not practiced enough. And that's why uh, the possibility is high to forget. And the words that we don't know, if we don't listen to people, then these words are, remain always unknown to us. You know what I mean? So I think vocabulary, we, we, I don't know how do people learn vocabulary, but I've got a guy named Chetan, uh, Ketan, sorry. And Ketan is from USA. And this guy is uh, my student right now. So he really helps me with a lot of different ideas. Because he's in a very creative profession and, uh, you know, he's working on a lot of important and, and, and vital things every day. So this guy gives me a lot of ideas uh, which I can apply in just my teaching and can, uh, you know, make it massive. For, you know, I can just produce massive results for my students. So here, if I talk about, like, how can you grow your vocabularies just learn five vocabularies and then play a quiz whether you are able to remember or not and you can see, like there, there there is a note card game like you write the uh, word uh, one side of the note and then um, one side of the card and the another side you write the definition so you see the definition you try to remember the remember the word make it fun make it fun just just they, they, it's a technique so Parvati, when it comes to speaking effortless English, practice is the most important thing. But uh, practice is an umbrella term. Like when we say practice, nobody understands what actually practice means. Can you please tell us what do you think about effortless English? Effortless English is this when you are confident with your English. When you are able to speak something which you think that, yes, I want to speak it. Because most of the time what happens, let's say I'm trying to talk about my family. Like For an example, a topic is my family. Now I don't know and I'm hesitating within myself. I'm doubting myself that probably I'm wrong. So effortless English comes when I accept to be effortless. So, you know, your question was that, you know, the first question that, why are we not able to be immersed in English? So here I was thinking that, okay, like literally, it, it is a question that why are you not able to do that? Then I found it out that probably we're not trying to immerse ourselves in English. Because what happens, a work will never get sought out when I'm not starting that work. Absolutely. I will never be able to say that, okay, you know, you, like it's it's a natural thing you will not get an experience when you are not starting doing that right so when i when i didn't used to practice initially absolutely i always used to think that okay well, you know it's really boring monday and i don't want to do that so 
because i didn't have the taste of it i didn't know how it feels to practice how it feels to speak in english i always neglected it but the point i literally touched it i made my mind that okay i'll be doing it then i got the taste and that has helped me a lot to be i don't know whether i'm effortless or not but at least it has helped me to not to be under confident so for me right now just being confident is really important in order to speak effortless english it is not that you have to be accurate it is about how you can manage your mistakes you know mm. like i have i've just made a mistake and how i can manage it so that people those who are listening to me cannot pay attention to what i am making mistake but they will be listening to me what actually my point is mm. i'm i'm discussing something people are not looking at my mistakes because i'm i know how to tackle it i know how to tackle obstacles people will be looking at what actually i'm talking about so that's what i do believe yeah so yeah so your point was that immerse yourself into like what you are doing like forget about anything else or everything else around you and just uh, focus with undivided attention on the thing that you are doing yeah. right now uh, there a point comes that practice again people say i do practice but the question comes then why are you not speaking better english meaning you are not doing it consistently mm. now consistency is a thing like we take it for granted because we think we have enough time when we are students mm. we think like okay now i'm in school uh, like i'm in class 9 or 10 and i'm like i'm learning how to speak english what if i skip a day and try it some other day mm. right and that's a mistake because you are practicing procrastination yes. like there is a nice thing called you are never stopping yourself from practicing either you are practicing wrong stuffs or right stuffs you are practicing you know you are constantly practicing something so you need to choose what you are going to practice here the pro- point is parvati which i personally feel it's that like regularity mm-hmm. persistence or there is a very heavy word we can use that you know perseverance like perseverance is used when like i can apply this word for a civil service aspirant because as a, a civil service aspirant studies a lot like 16 17 hours a day maybe or less than that or more than that i don't know i had a brother who was uh, preparing for civil service and uh, he would take preparation like this like you know for like 12 13 hours uh, he would study so perseverance is important uh, guys you can look up the words on the dictionary that you are getting and also you can see the word and their meaning uh, on your mobile phone right so on this screen so uh, please uh, take a note of this word so that you know you are able to apply them in your future conversations right all right so we are here to help you with vocabularies because they are important so part of the persistence you guys persistence you have to be persistent you have to be consistent you have to be regular if you want to immerse yourself like you can't immerse yourself into learning anything if you don't do it regularly otherwise you won't be able to develop a test of what you are doing like it takes time right um so absolutely just uh, try to find out the area of addiction um you know like in if you if you want to speak english there are areas if you pay a little bit of attention then you see that yeah it's very difficult for you to get get out of this right or get rid of this like when you wake up every morning you just first thing you do in the morning is you make yourself sit at a particular place and you keep practicing like that's the thing you do right yeah and and second thing i uh, uh, the third thing that i would like to talk about is like we all have to take classes like you know let's say if i talk about a guy who is a graduate and and is looking for a job and when he goes for an interview he realizes that his english is not uh, sufficient enough uh, or good enough so that he can get a job right so then he comes to a particular institute and then he starts learning sp- how to speak english 
like taking classes uh, taking classes is the thing that we should not stop any time in our life either you are like there are so many youtube videos like this if you watch a video with undivided attention rapt attention then what happens guys you get a lot of knowledge like we are switching between apps these days like we are doing multitasking we are not focusing on anything like taking online classes is easy so many valuable contents are available on youtube you just you don't have to pay any extra money on that just recharge your phone with 249 to 39 to 39 yeah so geo if you have geo plan yeah to 39 you get everything for free uh, so guys take classes i think like you have to take class either you are taking it offline or online like if you want to take online classes why wait just see the details on your screen right you can call me you can sms me like you can whatsapp me right you can whatsapp me and you can uh, send me email uh, if you are interested in learning english i'm there at your service right that's my job i help you encourage you to speak better english so you get the details in the description i want you to hit the like button because you know the more you do that the greater uh reach it gets like the video gets so you know i want you to just like the video right now and uh hit the subscribe subscribe button because you know like if you subscribe then i get a i get a what like encouragement i get a support i get a little bit of uh, hope that yes you know uh, you know i should be uploading this kind of videos we should be uploading this type of videos right so yeah thank you so much if you have subscribed to the channel if you haven't done it yet please do it please 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 all right um so that's it and